Hi everybody, Marcel here from Tiger Auto, here to show you Tiger's ski and snowboard rack, which allows more storage to get more of your gear up to the mountains. This rack's payload will carry up to four snowboards or six pairs of skis, and is made to fit into either an inch and a quarter or a two inch receiver. Installation is pretty straightforward, so let's get right to it. Before we begin, make sure all the parts and tools listed in the assembly instructions are accounted for. Also have an adjustable wrench handy for parts of the installation. Once you're ready, let's get started. First off, lock the vertical pole 90 degrees to the hitch insert by installing the adjustable pin screw and the hex bolt at the base joint. It's important to significantly tighten both locations to avoid collapsing. For the pin lock, optimal tightness means one or two millimeters of the screw can be seen on the other side. Next, insert the hitch into the receiver to the point which you can thread the pin bolt through. The bolt should only be threaded from the passenger to the driver's side, and it must be screwed tightly to avoid rattling. We recommend that you adjust the connection after the installation to further tighten the bolts to get a better grip. On the other side of the bolt, you have an option of installing a pin lock or a key lock. If you have an inch and a quarter receiver, remove the two inch adapter from the insert before installing. Now attach the extension pole to the main assembly. Note that the loop above the joint should be facing the vehicle. After the bolts are installed and tightened, apply plastic caps to cover the nuts for a clean look. Now on to installing the top and bottom mounting plates, which are vertically adjustable and collapsible. The key is to understand how the pin locks work in tandem. When the plates are installed in the raised position, for the top plate, the lower pin will be used as a pivot to collapse the plate downward, and for the bottom plate, the upper pin will be used to collapse the plate upward to clear the ground. Also, leave the lowest hole open for the top side and the highest hole open for the bottom side so they can be used as lock plates when they are collapsed. The space between the plates should be relative to the length of your ski or snowboard, so play around with it until you get the right distance. Before you store your gear, use the other set of keys to open the gate and make sure that all six clamps are released on both channels of the top plate. Each channel can fit up to three pairs of skis or two snowboards. The max capacity is 45 kilos or 99 pounds. After the gear is in place, apply the clamps to make sure that they are tight and pushed inward to prevent the gear from sliding along the channels. Close the gate and lock it by turning the key clockwise. Take the three provided belt straps and thread them through the hoops to tie down your gear. Add the four paddings to the top of your strap to buffer against the four edges. After you're done, perform a check by unscrewing the pin lock at the base to carefully release the tilt mechanism and see if there's enough clearance to access your trunk door or enough clearance to the ground. When you're ready to collapse the plates, first unscrew the upper pin from the bottom plate, fold up the plate and lock that into place. Then unscrew the lower pin from the top plate, fold that down and lock it into place. For any questions regarding this ski and snowboard rack, please leave us a comment or contact us on our website. Thank you very much for watching.